Hi, I'm Lou. Today I'm going to show you how to build this water rocket. Let's take a look at the parts we'll need. Any size pop bottle, the bigger ones go farther. Half inch PVC piping, make sure you get schedule 40, not this cheaper stuff that was more likely to split. This is good up to 600 PSI. Two half inch valves, half inch T, half inch elbow, a glue in to screw in PVC adapter, two of those, a screw in to screw in male brass adapter, a female screw in to garden hose adapter. If you're using an air compressor, you'll need a half inch to three eighths adapter and then a three eighths to quarter adapter and then a standard air compressor fitting so all those will go together if you're not using an air compressor you just have a bicycle pump then all you need is this little guy here it's a half inch cap that will go in there and we'll drill a hole through and put a valve in there and lastly you'll need one nail one drill bit that's the same size around as the nail of course a drill to put the hole in a o-ring and to glue all the pipes together you'll need PVC cement and to screw all the pipes together you need Teflon tape if you don't have an air compressor you will need a bicycle tube using pretty much any kind of saw you want to cut up your PVC pipe into an 18 inch piece and five two inch pieces and then it's going to go together like this elbow on the end two inch there T there the two inch piece there to there same thing on the other side and then these uh, threaded pieces on either side of that Of course, all the PVC joints are glued and it looks like this. Rub some on the outside. Rub some on the inside. Push them together. Twist. Done. Here it is together. Make sure you have this elbow pointing up. That's where your bottle's going to launch and you want these valves, of course, pointing up. It dries in about 5 to 10 seconds, so hurry up and get it into position. Next, we'll prepare the water side. Take your Teflon tape and roll it around the threads four or five times. Tear it off and screw it in. And then you're going to need to do the same thing on this side. And screw it in. And then use a wrench to tighten this down. On the air side, if you're using an air compressor, put in the half to three eighths adapter, the three eighths to quarter adapter, and the quarter inch air compressor fitting, and tighten that all down with a wrench. On the air side, if you're using a bicycle pump, you'll need to take the bicycle tire and cut out the valve. Next we'll need to drill a hole right in the top of that, right in the center, about a 5 16 size so this will fit through. Next we want to cut this, trim it down just small enough so that it fits in here. Now let's dab a little glue on this piece. and stick it through. Once it's dry, Teflon tape this and screw it in there. And finally for the launch pad, take your O-ring and put it on the pipe that's sticking up and then put your bottle on, press down hard and then take a drill and drill in through the bottle and the tube. Then stick a nail in that hole. You might want to tie a rope around the nail so you can pull it from back here. Water pressure alone is between 40 and 60 PSI. 
So we just turn on the water and you'll notice that the bottle fills up almost all the way and this water is pressurizing this. This air is under great pressure. So when I pull the pin it'll shoot right up. Now we'll try it with water and air. Here's the water. Here comes the air. Thanks for watching and good luck with your water rocket.